Welcome to Casey and Kaylin Goche's summer vacations. The two sisters from Grenthal are in the midst of a grueling six day a week training schedule. Their collective goal? To make the Canadian Olympic rowing team for the 2020 games in Tokyo. Getting to this point all started two years ago. Yeah, so we were actually watching the 2012 Olympic Games and we decided we needed a new sport. We wanted to try something new and be competitive, so we just kind of randomly chose rowing. We joke about it now, but we were like, we want to go to the Olympics, we want to be Olympians. And then uh, rowing kind of came on and we were like, we kind of look like rowers. We're, you know, these tall, like big shouldered girls, like let's get into this. And then it was like all we could think about already and we hadn't even started rowing. The Goche sisters were inspired to check out opportunities for their newfound passion. As luck would have it, the Manitoba Rowing Association was about to take part in a national program called Row to the Podium. The goal is to identify outstanding athletes from various sports across the country and then develop them into Olympic rowers. Casey was a high-level ringette player, while Kaylin was a power hitter for the University of Winnipeg volleyball team. The Goches went through the athletic testing to see if they could participate and have now been part of Road to the Podium for the better part of a year. It's a rigorous schedule, combining dry land training with time on the water. The sisters recall what it was like the first time they got into a boat. Yeah, I remember pushing off the dock and I was scared to breathe. Like I thought I was gonna, like if I breathed, I would tip. Like that's how scared I was. First time in a boat was terrifying. <laughs> I was uh, not expecting um, how off balance I would be. I think I actually just drifted across the river because I couldn't move. So that was really, really scary experience. Despite the steep learning curve, the Goches are now comfortable on the water and more determined than ever to achieve their goal. We just break it down into smaller goals. I mean, down to every single day, wanting to get better, uh, develop our skill. We have short-term goals, just like nationals in the fall, that sort of thing, and just progressing. I mean, eventually we want to go out to Ontario, London, Ontario, where the training center is. What drives us, I know, is we're super competitive. So I see her doing something and I'm like, oh, now I have to beat that and then vice versa. So we're constantly pushing each other, which is, I think, awesome. And what would make this experience even more awesome is to be able to push each other all the way to Tokyo in 2020. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Al Foster.